Hi, this is Anthony Vanwood from the Aussie Storage Blog. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to display the performance of your Storewise V7000 or SVC using the 6.3 GUI. Now, you'll notice the performance is now appearing under Monitoring. So if we open that up, we can check out the performance. First thing we'll have a look at is CPU utilization. Now, unlike the other three sections, this one is a percentage. So we're looking at the percentage of how much we can drive that CPU. It's fairly low at the moment. But at the system number, we can display it by node rather than the entire system, node 1 or 2. Now notice also, we also have this extra drop down. We can choose megabytes per second or IOPS, which is relevant for the next three boxes. The first one of which is volume workload. And this example is currently set to megabytes per second. If you notice, I can display both the read and the write workload, not only from a throughput perspective, but also from a latency perspective. So if I move my mouse over here, I can turn on read latency and write latency in milliseconds. And I can actually turn off the throughput, so I'm only seeing the latency. Now the other thing I can do, if I take my mouse over to the left, is I can change that drop down back to IOPS, and now instead of seeing megabytes per second, I'm seeing IOs per second. And again, I could turn on just reads and writes and not display the latency. So this lets me choose exactly what displays, what appears rather, in that panel. If I move down to M disks, remember M disks are our back end disks, I again have the same thing. I can choose to display the read workload or the write workload in either IOPS or megabytes per second, as well as the read and write latency in milliseconds. In this example, I'm actually turning everything off just to show you we can really customize this panel and display any of the settings we want to. And I'll move up and change those IOPS to megabytes per second. Now this M disk workload is all back end virtualized disk. I say this because when we look at the final panel for interfaces, you can see FC or fiber channel, iSCSI, and SAS workload. In my example, all the workload is being done by the fiber channel because there's no SAS. 